Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about java scatter class with the help of examples and we are going to see how we can read user input and add two numbers with the help of the scanner class so guys basically the scanner class of the java.util package is used to read input data from different sources like input streams or users or files or any other source of data so guys previously we have already seen the reading of the input streams by using the input stream classes and also using the files as well by using the file reader class and the buffered reader class as well now today in this video we are going to see how we can read the user input like user is supposed to provide some data and we can do some operations on that data now guys first let us check the working of the java scanner so guys basically the scanner class reads an entire line and divides the line into tokens so basically these tokens are small elements that have some meaning to the java compiler so you just need to know that the entire line that is is read by the scanner class it is divided into small tokens now it is very important to note that by default white space that means the space character is used to divide the tokens so let's say if we have the sentence having the five words so that sentence will be divided into five words based on the space character in between them and we will have five different words being read by the scanner class so guys let us check this with the help of examples first of all we are going to see this method that is next int which reads an integer value from the user so let us switch to eclipse id over here and the very first thing that we want to do is we want to declare a variable of the scanner type so we have the scanner and as you can see over here you have this third class that is scanner which belongs to the java.util package so guys this is very important that java.util package is the correct package in which we have to use the scanner class over here and then we can have sc as the object name and then we will have new scanner since this is the constructor over here and what will be the source as you can see there are multiple constructors over here we want the source to be the console so in order to have the source as the console we can have system dot n over here so i'll say system dot n so guys basically the system dot n will help us in order to read the data from the console apart from that you can have any other stream over here or you can have the directory path as well of a particular file from where you want to read the data now guys after this we have to provide the semi colon now what we have to do is we have to use the next int method belonging to this scanner object that is sc so over here i'll say sc followed by dot and then we have something called as next int method so as you can see this next int it will return an integer so guys basically when the control flow encounters this method over here it will wait for the user input that is it will wait for the input from the console since we have provided the system dot in over here or else if we are reading from the file it will take the next integer that is present via the scanner and it will assign it to a particular integer so over here we have to assign this value to a integer over here so i'll say int and then let's say we provide int number as the variable so basically since we are going to provide some data over here it is going to assign that data that is a number to this number variable now before this what we have to do is we have to tell the user that you need to provide some number so we will just include a print statement over here that will ask the user to provide some number so i'll say enter some number and then we have colon over here and then guys instead of print ln i'll say print that's because user should provide the number on that same line on which this string is printed on the console and then guys after taking the user input using this next int method and storing it in the number what i will do is i will just print this number so basically i'll say print ln statement over here so we have print ln statement and i'll say number value is and then followed by plus we have this number variable so guys basically whatever number we have entered on the console it will be printed by using this string that is number value is and then followed by the variable name so guys let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see it is asking enter some number over here and the control flow has stopped over here that's because it has encountered the next int method and the integer is expected from the console that's because we have provided system dot in over here so what i will do is let's say i provide the number as 10 
and then I have to press enter on the keyboard. So when I press on enter, it says number value is 10 over here. So guys, in this way, we can easily use the scanner class. Along with that, we can use the next int method with this in order to read any number as the user input. Guys, apart from this, there are many other methods that belong to the scanner class. So when we say sc object followed by dot, and then when we type next, as you can see, there are many other methods. We can provide the next boolean. We can also provide next byte. Over here, there is next double. Then we have next float. So based on your requirement, which data type you want to store or use in order to manipulate them, you can use the required method over here. So guys, the very first example we have already covered, that is the next end. Now the next method that we are going to see is next line, which reads a line of text from the user. So guys, let us check this with the help of examples. So over here, what I will do is instead of entering some number, I will say enter some text over here so when we say enter some text so over here we have to provide the next line method so after this dot we will have next line over here so as you can see this next line we are going to use so this next line method is going to return the string variable so over here i am going to change from integer to string and then i'll say str and then over here we'll say entered string is so i'll say entered string and then is so we have to just change this variable name that is str so over here whatever string will be entered over here after enter some text the same string will be printed over here by using this print statement where entered string is will be included in the string so guys let me just save this file and try running this code now so over here it says enter some text and then i'll say this is youtube channel programming for beginners and then when i press enter so as you can see entered string is this is youtube channel programming for beginners the entire string that is the entire line was read by using the next line and then it was stored in the string and then this string was used in order to print that particular string with this statement that is entered string is and guys in this way you can easily read the lines as well instead of system dot in over here you can have any path of the file that you want to read and line by line all the content of the files will be read by using this scanner now guys if we see the other method that is next what it does is it reads a word from the user so basically whatever line we have entered as you can see these are having multiple words over here so word by word will be read by the scanner class and it will be stored in the string variable over here so guys this next method i'll leave up to you so that you can practice on your own guys apart from this i wanted to show you how you can add two numbers when you are using the scanner class so basically i'll just remove these lines of code over here and i'll say scanner it is sc object and what i want to do is let's say i want the first number that is int a it is equal to sc followed by dot and then we have next int over here so next integer will be read by the program and before that what i will say is i will give the instruction to the user that enter first number and then colon and then guys similarly i will copy this line of code over here and i'll paste this over here i'll say enter second number over here so that we can have the second number as well and we can add the two numbers and i'll say int b it is equal to sc dot next n so basically we have another statement wherein we are storing the number in b and the first number was stored in a now what we have to do is we just have to do a plus b in order to have the sum of these numbers so i'll say another print statement over here so we have sum of these numbers followed by colon and i'll simply say a plus b over here so we can use this expression that is a plus b and have the sum of both the numbers that were being entered by using the scanner class over here and the next int method so let me just save this file and try running this code now so we are having the first instruction that is enter first number so let's say i provide the number 11 over here and then i press enter so it says enter second number over here and the second number that i provide is let's say 12 so the sum of both the numbers will be 11 plus 12 it is equal to 23 so when i press on enter it will say sum of these numbers it is 23 so guys in this way we can easily 
take the input from the user on the console and add those numbers guys apart from this you can have any other operations over here as far as two numbers are concerned but this was the basic way in which you can read numbers by using the scanner class so guys that's it in this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is java typecasting to convert data types so stay tuned